Today you're seeing the world's greatest design class. The name of the course is ME2110 Creative Decisions and Designs, but it's really introductory mechanical design. This is the culmination of that class where students have worked for many weeks very hard to create what we'll call autonomous robots. And those robots today are going to compete in a contest based on the election. This will be my first competition with something that I had to build, so I'm uh, looking forward to see how that turns out. Right now, they're being judged before they go into battle, because when they go into the battle, the machines will get broken sometimes. So before that, we have this one-hour period where our industrial sponsors come and evaluate these machines. And sometimes they hire the students right out of here. They meet, they meet a student that explains their machine very well, they're impressed with their device, and they'll offer them a summer internship. We have like actual execs come out from different companies who, wanna, who are interested in our work. So it kind of makes us feel, feel good. It was, it was definitely the nerve-wracking, but it was, it was worth it. We've been judged a few times, and we're really hoping that we do stand out. Uh, but if we don't stand out, we do have bribe cookies, so hopefully that'll help our chances. Being in 2110, you learn a lot about the industry, what requirements there are, what tools you use, and we put all that into the design of our machine. We start with giving the machines four basic tasks, and they're all based on this political theme. So one thing that they have to do is they have to get super PAC money. So these machines will drive out into this competition area and try to get 100 grand candy bars. And then they also have to do something very, very important, which is to collect celebrity endorsements. In addition to that, they need to stuff the ballot box with some votes. And the fourth thing that they have to do is they have to sling mud at the other candidates. I'm anxious, I'm really stressed. Um, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of commotion going around, but I'm having a lot of fun too. Yes, yes! 95% of the students really love this course, and what it does is it gives them basic skills that allow them to be successful in the rest of their courses. Now, they're going to go off and do all sorts of stuff. There's some are going to be lawyers and doctors, and I'm not sure this class is going to give them specific skills for that. But I think what it will do is help them for the rest of their life on working on teams and solving problems. It took a lot of work, probably put in at least 10 or 12 hours a week in the shot. It was very time consuming, but it was pretty rewarding. and. I definitely learned a lot about, you know, building stuff and how the design method works, you know, it's, it's an approach. We spent about 40 hours on this machine overall. Started from scratch, we had no idea, this was our first hands-on experience as mechanical engineering students. And I think it's probably one of the most fun I've had at Tech.